The Deputy Minister for Trade and Industry, Robert Amkalinzi, has advised businesses in the Bono East region to take advantage of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement area to expand their markets and export to other parts of the continent. He made this call during a regional conference held in Techiman under the theme empowering Ghanaian businesses to harness the benefits of the Continental Free Trade Agreement area under the framework of the National Export Development Strategy. Correspondent Anas Sabet was at the conference and came through with this report. From the private and public sectors to discuss Ghana's export and development interventions targeted at empowering the private sector to harness the benefits of the African Continental Free Trade Area. Deputy Minister for Trade and Industry, Honorable Robert Ahomka Lindsay, used the opportunity to encourage local enterprises to take advantage of the pact and expand their businesses. From January 1st, 2021, the market for the one, so out of the 55, 54 have signed and 30 countries have ratified it, like Ghana, which basically means that from the 1st of January 2021, 30 countries are going to open the border for us to start doing business. We want to make sure Ghana, Techima, Bono East, you are well represented, appropriately represented to hold the Ghana flag to show people that you are also part and you're also going to take advantage. Mr. Onkalinsi indicated that Ghanaian businesses should work towards winning the African CFTA Olympics when the race starts in January 2021. If you don't make those business decisions, there is nothing for us to sell. And there is therefore no opportunity for Ghana to hold its flag when it comes to the Africa CFTA Olympics. The race is about to start. It starts on 1st January 2021. We want to make sure when the first race is done, the 100 meters, the 200 meters, men and women, the marathon, the long jump, the triple jump, the high jump, Ghana raises its flag in each one of those. When they start talking about the largest exporter of garments, Ghana should open the flag. When they start talking about the um, largest exporter of industrial stars, the chief man should be there saying, yes, there's a company from here. Some of the participants shared with Joy News how beneficial the conference had been in terms of expanding their businesses to meet international standards. I think the government has very good intentions, but they are not to the ground. Most people are not aware. So my participation in this program has given me a lot of insight about the opportunities that we need to do. For now, once they've uh, introduced us to this uh, conference, we know how when we get the eggs and even when it's time for us to sell the fowls, when they stop laying eggs, we know the appropriate channel to go so that they will help us to, to, to uh, sell our products. So it is uh, uh, actually it's very, very beneficial. They are ever shared with us some challenges hindering the smooth takeoff of the local enterprises. Nema ain't him why my young queen in pa, a be a sicassem. A sicassem a wolf form. In tea, and I'm saying a sicassem wolf form in tea, near mother do as a sinker. Some of the things hindering our take off had to do with finance. We are unable to produce more because we have no support and when we go to the banks for loans, the interest rates are high so we run at loss and at the end, some of us have to close down. So we call on government to come to our aid. I think I yesre, sir, by the boy, Nanka was so yasin, Nayetime Paja Yemu. The conference organized by the Ministry of Trade and Industry, the Ghana Export Promotion Authority, and the National AFCFTA Coordination Office was held under the theme Empowering Ghanaian Businesses to Harness the Benefits of the African Continental Free Trade under the Framework of the National Export Development Strategy. Reporting for Joy News. Anas Sabit, Tichiman.